So we'll take a look at the sonar features in this video on the Elite Ti versus the HDS Gen 3. As you can see, just about all the options here are the same with uh, no differences. Even into the advanced menu, we have the exact same options here. When we go to our view option, again, exactly the same, no differences. Same color palettes that are available on the Gen 3 are also available on the Elite Ti. Frequency wise, we do have the options available exactly the same. In this video, this unit already has a transducer selected on it, and that's why we're not seeing the 50 kilohertz and low chirp option. When you connect a transducer to the Elite Ti, it will automatically detect what transducer is plugged in and then populate the options that are available with that transducer. One of the main changes Lowrance has done with the Elite Ti is given it a 9-pin transducer connector. The blue 7-pin will no longer work, however you are able to adapt those over with the correct adapter. One of the main benefits to going to this transducer, aside from the auto detect, transducer selection that we've already mentioned is the ability to have all the frequencies including medium and high chirp, down scan and side scan built into one transducer. This transducer is about the same size as the LSS2 transducer that would be found for side and down scan on the HDS units. However, it's a little bit deeper. The same mounting bracket will still work, however you will have to modify it. With the total scan transducer, your high chirp frequency range will be 160 to 240 kilohertz, medium chirp 60 to 100 kilohertz, and your structure scan will be 455 and 800 kilohertz selectable. Should you choose to add a total scan transducer to the HDS unit, you are able to do that with a software upgrade. It will not work with the Hook series or the HDS Gen 2 touch or non-touch units. So we'll take a look at the structure scan portion of each unit here. Let me just adjust this range here so we get a better idea of what we're looking at. And feature-wise, we're looking at the exact same information. So now if we go into the advanced menu, we're going to see the same options. However, we do have a noise rejection feature available on the HDS unit. One thing to take note of on the Elite Ti is your access to high chirp is only available when your structure scan is disabled. You're not able to get high chirp sonar and left and right structure scan at the same time. Whereas on the HDS unit, we can select between 283 and high chirp.